So, how loud is the music versus my voice? Can you hear me? Because it's very loud for me, but I turn down the desktop audio. Hmm. Okie doke. Have you heard of this game? I'm excited to play it. Laura Shigihara, I think, wrote it and the music and everything, and she's awesome. Yeah, you can do Twitch chat. I have it up. Um, we'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna need a second monitor eventually. V20s! There you are. I actually have to play the game windowed, so it's like small for me. But that's the only way I could get it to work. Otherwise, it was just not capturing the vid the game. So let's try this out then. get in here. Should I read it out loud? I'll just read it out loud. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Maybe you're just listening. Your door's unlocked, man. Oh. Who are you? I'm Yami. I live across the hall. Did you just move in or something? No, I think I got here around the same time as you. But they never let me out of my room. Oh, I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I'm not good at voices, so I'm not even gonna try. So... <laughs> I sneak out at night when the nurses aren't watching. Heh. <laughs> promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, okay? I promise. So how long are you in here for? I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Same here. It gets really boring sometimes. I know what you mean. Someone's coming. Sorry, man, I gotta go. Hey, wait. Yeah? Maybe I could visit you sometime. It's not as boring when there's two. You won't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? Oh yeah. Don't worry, I'll come visit you again. I promise. Yami? Where'd you go? He left, silly. That's what you just said. Okay, now I move around. Hello? A house plant that looks like it could use some water. Oh, this is my bathroom. I never went in here. I was testing the game earlier. A mirror? Okay. Go pee. <laughs> Fill the sink with water? No. An IV bag filled with a saline solution. 
patient 237, oh god, pemetrexid disodium, 800 milligrams once, 1121, carboplatin, I don't know what any of that is, sounds serious. Treatment guide, okay, an origami hat, well I'm already wearing one. Yes, the cabinet's empty. Of course. Who is it? Hello? Hello, dear. It's Mom. Mom! Just wanted to let you know that my train was delayed, so I'm going to be a bit late. Oh. Okay. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, Mom. I understand. But I'm off work this week, and I dropped off your little brother at Grandma's. So we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We can play games, I'll read to you, it'll be like our own little party. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you too. Cheese it's the cops! Oh, it's a nurse. Well, well, I see you're wide awake and walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. Ha. Okay, wise guy, I've got a couple things to tell you. First of all, some good news. Your tests have come back, and it turns out things are looking pretty good. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. You mean... I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! Not so fast. There's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning, the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So can you take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings were stolen? Okay. Oh no! It's gone! Doctor, they took it. They took Raccoon. What did they take? Raccoon, it's my favorite book in the whole world. My mom reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't misplace it? I'm sure. After mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's our tradition. Okay, calm down. What did your book look like? Hmm... It has a brown cover. It looks very old. And there is a clasp made of silver with a hole for a key. Silver clasp, eh? I guess that explains why they'd take a children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. I need to turn down the volume a bit more for myself, because it's overpowering. Okay, that's a little better. Mom's going to be so sad. You know what? What? Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? Who knows, maybe someone will be able to help you get your book back. Take care now, I'll be back to check on you in a bit. And this is as far as I got before I had to do some fiddling with my broadcast software. So that's all the same. So can I go out this way? The door is locked. There is a sign on the door. Read it. Yes. Storage area 5B. Patients not allowed beyond this point. I guess I should go out the way she came in. Aha! Oh my. Boys room. Oh, 
open the locker? Yes, a lab coat and a pair of scrubs are hanging inside. They look like there's something beneath the lab coat. Look underneath, of course. You found 5G! I'm rich! You find a pair of scrubs. How's your detective work coming along? Find any good leads? An eye chart. On the lower left corner of the eye chart, you can make out some writing. Read it? Yes. Ma e e. Okay. Cafeteria? Where do I want to go first? It's a big hospital. I heard you had a pretty tough day today. You hang in there, alright? You're doing great. Okay. Can I talk to that lady? She's just walking around. What's in here? What is this? Is this... Nothing. Yes. A cabinet is empty. What about this side? Folders filled with medical forms. It looks like there's something beneath the folders. You found 5G. <laughs> oh, well, who's leaving all this money around? Cora, hey there. What's up? Hey, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Cora. It's probably pretty easy to remember me because I'm the only girl in my grade with a pink mohawk. Whoa, cool. And don't worry, my mom knows. She's the one who let me do it. Anyways, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Cora. Oh hey, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the hospital. Like what? I'll have more details later, but if you find anything cool you'd want to donate, come talk to me. Okay. I know a lot of folks feel powerless when they have to stay here, but here's the way I see it. No one knows how much time they have in this world. My time could be up in 80 years. Or 8 minutes. Point is, I'm gonna do everything I can to make good use of my time. Time's precious, you know. If I could help just one person here to feel happier, then it'd be all worth it. All be worth it. <laughs> hey there. Did you hear about the thief? Dude, yeah. Chef Pinky came out here earlier and he was not happy. I guess the thief took a lot of food from the cafeteria kitchen. How the heck did they get into the kitchen? You can't even get in there from the cafeteria. Believe me, I've tried. Hey, uh, tell me about folks here. Who do you want to know about? I don't know any of these people. Who's Tony? Just between you and me, I think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time, but he's got this pretty little music box in this room, in his room that he guards with his life. Why would a grumpy old dude like that have a sweet little music box? Yeah, you should totally be able to get to the kitchen through the cafe. I don't... How do the chefs get around? Sue's a sweetheart. But she's obsessed. Obsessed? Yeah, I guess she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend. And that's pretty much all she talks about now. Who do you want to know about? Jackie? Jackie's that guy over there at the blood draw station. He's cool. A little weird. But cool. If you ever need to know about anything technical, he's the guy to ask. Uh, 
a pink cat? I guess she painted that. What is he wearing? He has a little bear barrette. Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? <laughs> Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? Perpetual motion machines? Ahem. What can I help you with? Sometimes I like to contemplate things like, why are there only two egg-laying mammals in the world? I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs. But so far, only the platypus and echidna families have hopped on that bandwagon. Why, if I could lay eggs, I would be laying eggs all the time. <laughs> Silly man. Come here, I'll let you in on a little secret. Have you noticed anything strange about this hospital? Hmm... Not really. A while back I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. Oh yeah, I did find one of those. And last night I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room, but I was told that closet has been locked since before I started working here. I'm pretty sure they were not staff. What did they look like? I only saw them out of the corner of my eye and for but a second, so unfortunately I could not say. Would you like to know about... Panky. The children love Chef Panky. If he notices someone is having a bad day, he'll give them ice cream. <gasps> I want ice cream. Ah, uh, ice cream. Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius. Nerd. <laughs> Who would you like to know about? Kisaburo. I knew Kisaburo back before his mind started going. We spoke often. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. What do you mean? Well, for example, recently the staff found him outside digging in the mud again. He was on his hands and knees making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. Aw, oh, man. But hey, maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he was looking for buried treasure. <laughs> Who would you like to know about? Danielle? Danielle is the purple-haired girl who hangs out in the cafeteria. She sews the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. <gasps> Cute. See you later. Checking everything. I can't check that calendar, okay. Did you call me? Yeah. Apparently, the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Can you do anything about it? I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't even know how to fix a toilet. Well, someone has to do it. You know we're short-staffed. Fine, I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. Quit bugging me, kid. I've got a lot to do right now. How rude. And my stomach is growling. What I wouldn't give for a peanut choo-choo. Is this a scale? Oh, a height. Can I go in here? The toilet in there is broken. Some metal thing is stuck inside. If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. But what if I want that mysterious metal thing that could come in handy? Are oh, these test tubes? Blood samples. A thermometer. Patient 138. Anoxic brain injury. Stage 1 coma. Respiratory therapy session. That doesn't sound good. 
Another house plant that needs watering. Winston, how are you doing today? What's up? My wife's been asleep for months now. Oh no. But I still talk with her every day, and sometimes I read to her. How are you doing today? Did you hear about the thief? Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? I've been told that those areas have long been closed off, even to the staff. But recently I noticed that one of the devices had been turned on. Tell me about folks here. Sue. On occasion I've had to take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking around aimlessly on certain nights. Tony? I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long while. It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. Tell me about it. Cora? I heard that Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost morale around the hospital. Last I heard, they were calling themselves the Tau Cape Heroes. <laughs> hmm. I want to be a Tau Cape Hero. Solution. Oh, that's Sue. I will as soon as I find a towel. I'll make it a cape. It probably can, actually. Hello! I mean, hello. She looks sad. Wow, so many different marbles. Yeah, I've been collecting for a long time. Can I go into this bathroom? Whoop! Oh. Hey, what are you doing? I, um... This is a girl's room, you know. But if you really gotta use the bathroom, come talk to me. Ooh, I, I was talking to you. So you wanna use our bathroom, eh? Well... I guess? Yeah, I get it. We all gotta go sometimes. But I can't let just anyone use our bathroom. It's a girl's room, you know. Gosh, it looks like you really gotta go, though. Sure. Hmm. Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? Yeah. That's my marble collection. I'm missing some, though. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket, and I'm pretty sure some fell out. If you could find me just one, I'd let you use our bathroom whenever you want. Do you think you could do that for me? I'll try my best. Thank you. The last place I was playing was with Danielle in the cafeteria, so you might want to check around there. Got it. Cafeteria. I wanted to go there anyway to get some ice cream. Did I miss rooms on the left side? I did. The door is locked. Look at the sign. Keep out, only authorized personnel allowed beyond this point. Oops. I meant to look at the doorknob. There's an electronic device with a passcode entry labeled Closet 5C. However, it doesn't appear to be turned on. Hmm. It didn't give me the option to just bust in, though. The door is locked. Who's in the bathroom? Come out of there, you. A broken music box. If you touch that music box, I'll break your hands. Oh boy. Sorry. Blood samples. 
Nurse, there is no point in talking to Tony before he's had his coffee. He'll just growl at you like a big angry bear. I heard that, you little brat. See what I mean? What's in here, though? A book about airplanes. What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out. It figures. When I want visitors, no one shows up. But when I need peace and quiet, every idiot in the world has to come to my room. And where is that nurse with my coffee? It seems like they really want me to go to the cafeteria first, huh? Yes. Yay! Five gold! I've got fifteen now, I think. This was my room. But I want to go on this other side. Who's this guy? Now where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. A semi-functional vending machine. What would you like to buy? <gasps> A peanut choo-choo. Hot coffee restocking soon. We'll be restocked as soon as our shipment arrives, shift leader. Well, then I'll buy a choo choo. I like peanut choo choos. And someone mentioned they wanted one. Yeah! Who was it? The little girl? Rusted. Was it this girl? No, she wanted a marble. Cafeteria. Was it this girl? look for spare change around the hospital. You'd be surprised how much is just laying around in cabinets and drawers. Yep. I forgot who wanted the peanut choo-choo. Chocolate and peanut butter confection. Well, I'll figure it out. Can I walk faster? I guess not. Door is locked. What's this? Appears that there's a tunnel running through here that has been blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you had the right tools. Yes? A soup ladle that's caked with mud is laying on top of old medical forms. There's something beneath the ladle? Yes? You found 5G. <laughs> stack of notes has been stapled together and attached to the inside of the folder. Page 1. Based on the results of Kisaburo's brain scan, we believe the metastases to be the cause for his delirium. It is my recommendation to begin administering antipsychotic medication. Please refer to the list of hallucinations and delusions. Yeesh. Hello? I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you walking around again. You need something? It seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. Either that or people just aren't listening. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. Oh. 
I just want to make sure I say the things I need to say before it's too late. Did you hear about the thief? I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone has been sneaking around here after hours. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. Which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. What, were they crawling through the vents? You'd have to be pretty small to fit through there. But no one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think that I've lost my mind. I'm not one for gossip. You need something? Uh, that wasn't helpful. See you later. Oh, he's drinking coffee. I can't do anything with this. Attention, all hospital staff. Instructions. Kisabero is not allowed to have caffeinated liquids before prep. Oh, oh no! Read it. Yummy. Can I read this one? No. You're not supposed to have coffee! Internet? Flowers? Door is locked. Well, I guess we're going to the cafeteria. Give me money. Oh, I bet I can use a tool later or something. The new patient lounge is still being built. Please come back later. Let me in! Hmm. Mop. Magazines, notebooks, and other paper materials can be found here. What's this? Nothing. Various drinks, yogurt, and fruit cups line the shelves. Well, now I'm hungry. Rice bowls and snacks. There are several different kinds of box lunches here. This bin is filled with ice cream and other frozen snacks. Grab it! Cold drinks are kept here. This bin is filled with... oh, same thing. Is that a kitty cat? Who do I talk to first? Kitty cat. Oh! I told you, you're not supposed to have cats in the hospital. It's fine, she's a seeing eye cat. My vision is really bad. Get it out of here, Danielle. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Pinky is the worst. His name is the worst. Pile of freshly made plushy toys. <gasps> I want one. Looks like there's something underneath one of the toys. Yes. Yay, a snowy marble. That's what Sue wanted. Danielle, hey kiddo, you need something? What's up? I'm just finishing up a batch of plushies. My goal is to make one for all the patients on the floor, even old cranky men like Tony and Pinky. Eh, I heard that. Good. Hey, kiddo. Thief. Don't tell anyone I told you this, but... You know how some of the doors around here have those electronic lockbox things on them? I heard that they keep the password somewhere behind the reception desk that's across from Kisaburo's room. Uh, what do you think is beyond those doors? You mean you haven't been there? What? No, of course not. I'm just a volunteer. Tell me about folks here. Oh, I know all about the people here. Winston? 
Have you noticed Winston's wife doesn't have her wedding band on? Don't you think that's a little strange? I mean, Winston is still wearing his. Oh, I know all about the people here. Tony. I know Tony seems like the biggest grump on the planet, but I can tell that he's just a bit lonely. I bet if you brought him some coffee, he'd open up to you a bit. Oh. Uh, Sue. Sue didn't used to be so poor, but I heard that her father drank a bit too much and gambled away all their savings. Aww. Well... Who's this? Kitchen staff. Sorry, hun, but you know you're not supposed to leave this wing. What's this? Nope. Fresh Odin? Caution, these drinks are hot. Is there coffee? Hey there, long time no see, buddy. You hungry? You need something? Yeah, how about a coffee? Did you hear they finally stocked the vending machine out in the hospital hall with peanut choo-choos? The shift leader was in here the other day begging us to- Oh, it was the shift leader that wanted it. Guess it's not just kids that like them, eh? Did you hear about the thief? Yeah, well, yeah, it was- Someone came in here and took a bunch of food and drinks. Ain't no way they got in here through the cafeteria. See that metal door up there? No. It comes down after- uh, oh, I see. Uh, no one gets through that. So I bet they somehow got into the backspace. The backspace? Yeah, it's a network of closed-off passageways. Half-built rooms, storage clo closets, you know. Places for me to adventure in? The aftermath of, well, yeah, it's crazy back there. Tell me about folks. Danielle. Don't tell her I said this, but Danielle's got a heart of gold. Why wouldn't you want to tell her that? She spends her free time coming in here and sewing toys for all the patients. And really don't tell her I said this. She's a bit of a crazy cat lady. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm a crazy cat lady. I heard that. Eh, what can I say? It's true. Yeah, it is. Who do you want to know about? Kisaburo. If that Kisaburo comes in here one more time borrowing my stuff, I swear. Borrowing? Oh yeah. He took all my soup ladles, and for what? To go digging in the mud outside to look for buried treasure? I feel bad for the guy, though. It's never easy when one starts losing their mind like that. Must be even tougher for his family. Dot dot dot. Who do you want to know about? Jackie. Jackie's a smart guy. Sometimes I think he's on another planet. But if there's one thing we can talk about, it's food. Of course, we have different methods. He's all science. He cooks with his brain. I cook with my heart. Man, where can I get coffee? Well, I can give my choo-choo to this lady and then maybe I can get behind the desk what do you want to do? offer a peanut choo-choo wait, you're giving this to me? wow, thank you I haven't eaten anything all day I guess they won't mind if I go take a short break yes leave Hospital admittance forms A through F. Patients. Uh, what's this? Which do you want to search? Upper shelf. 
Books and pamphlets. A newspaper clipping is sticking out from between two of the books. Read it. 19 March. J and R. Already scrapped for resources. Hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. Several years worth of medical journals. Folders filled with medical forms. A laminated card is clipped to the back of one of the folders. Yes. Closet 5C passcode 1721. 1721. Remember that. Do I go in there first or do I give the marble? Hmm. 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 I don't know. It doesn't let me... Hmm. Okay, I guess I gotta give the marble then. And then I can use her bathroom for some reason. Any luck? Give Sue the snowy marble? Yes. You give the snowy marble to Sue. Ah, you found my snow world. Snow world? Shh. Can you keep a secret? Yes. These aren't just marbles, you know. They're little worlds. All of these are tiny planets. Ooh. With tiny people living inside. That's why it's so important for me to find them all. This swirly white marble is a snow world. It's snowing all the time here. I know that might sound boring. But it's not. Real snowmen live here, and they are always having parties. What kinds of parties? Snowman dance parties. <laughs> Is everyone crazy here? <laughs> I love dancing. Me too. Oh, they have pretty lanterns everywhere too, and a blue campfire that feels cold. But if we went there, we wouldn't freeze. The snowmen make a magical drink that can keep a person warm. So we could dance with them and never get too cold. That sounds great. Thanks for helping me. I feel better now that they're back with me. My name's Sue. It's nice to meet another kid around here. Oh yeah, and feel free to use our bathroom anytime you want. If you find any more of my marbles, do you think you could bring them to me? Of course. Thanks so much. What's in the bathroom? Turn the light on. Fill the sink with water. Why? Why would I do that? <laughs> it looks like the toilet is stuck. Flush? Shiny floating inside. Take it! Yes, it could be cool. Eel grow snow. Ah, Tony's bathroom key. It appears that there's a tunnel running through here that's been blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you had the right tools. Tony is the old guy. This room? Oh, but I don't have coffee still. I'm just gonna flood all the sinks because there's an option too. <laughs> A box labeled 5C power supply. Hmm. Paper notice is attached to the box, and there is a lever in front. 
the 5C power supply do not tamper with this device. Like that'll stop me. Pull the lever down. 5C power supply is on. With a passcode entry, yes. Please enter your passcode. Seven, two, one. Ha ha! <gasps> what was that? Attention, all hospital staff, urgent. Please begin transfer of medical supplies to the second floor storage wing immediately. Someone has etched something into the edge of the bulletin board. Or Siri... Am I supposed to be writing this stuff down? I hope not. Someone's weather journal. Yes. We weren't able to keep everyone alive, but we tried our best. Uh... Gimme. Locked. Upper. Assortment of books and pamphlets. Line the shelves. Newspaper clipping. Read it. 14 March, the NSA said the number of people exposed to radiation was expected to rise. Workers in protective clothing scan people arriving at evacuation centers for radioactive exposure. Hmm. Folders filled with medical forms. It looks like there's something beneath the folders. I found a key. Small cabinet. Is it this? Open the cabinet. Yes. Use the key. There is a laminated car laying at the bottom of the drawer. Yes. Exit 5C passcode 2954. Two nine five four. Yes, two nine five four. Who is that? Where am I? Is this going to be a puzzle? Medical books. What's this? Oh! Construction zone ahead. Please do not enter without explicit permission from your supervisor. Some locked figures. A representative from Coid Construction is coming tomorrow to survey the damage. Please make sure all personal materials are removed before then. What's, what's in this jar? Ooh. An unknown specimen floating inside. A pair of glass beakers. Chair. Ominous. Medical pamphlets and office supplies. What's in here? Is it gonna be tools? Lab coat pocket. 
a key metal door. I'm not missing anything. You used the key to open the door. Ooh, this area does not look safe for children. Look at that. I could f someone could fall down there if it weren't for those cones. Stack of folders. Construction contract for the rebuilding of the third floor wing 2B. I received a card key. Someone left a note here. Read it. Joji, remember to remove the card key when you're done this time, okay? We can't just go leaving doors open. I don't want to get in trouble again. Oh, Joji. You found 5G! I should wear some protective... Oh, I can't. Is that a stepladder? Which of these doors do I go through? Door is locked. Insert card key. But what about the other... Oh, I'm gonna go in the other place first, because it looks like a dead end. You don't... What?! Oh, it's... I used it... up? Bills and tax forms. Is there another card key in here? Yay! Oh, can I take it back? Ah! Good eye. So now I have two. Oh! Well, I'm gonna go here first. Open the locker. Another card key. Ticket. Well, I'm just gonna leave those there for now. Door is locked, a notice is posted here. For security purposes, all three supervisor card keys must- oh. Well, of course. Yes. Well, where do I insert them? Oh, I get it. I have to have all three open at once. I hope that's what they mean. Yeah! I'm smart. Take this. I want that shovel. Oh. Huh? My book. Take it. <gasps> Old man. It's a little late for visitors, don't you think? He's so creepy looking. But he's got a happy face necklace, so... Who are you? Oh, I'm no one important. But if you want to call me something, you can call me Uma. Are you the one who's been stealing food from the cafeteria? 
Did you take our book? Heh. I guess you kinda caught me red-handed. Why would you steal from a hospital? I'm hungry. Down on my luck. What do you want me to say, kid? Wait. Do you live here? For now. Not much of a home, but it beats sleeping on the streets. Oh, he's homeless. I'm sorry you don't have a real home. Eh, you get used to it after a while. So, kid, are you hungry? Ah, uh, yes. Ugh! Got a bit of fish head left from last week. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> That's okay. But thank you, I guess. Look, kid. I'm really sorry I took your book. Please, take it back and forgive me for my lapse in judgment. It's okay. I do weird things when I'm hungry, too. <laughs> Yay, received Raccoon. And I promise that as soon as I get back on my feet, I'll pay the ch chef back for all the food I took. I just need some time to figure things out. I understand. Oh, one more thing. If I tell you a secret about this hospital, will you promise not to tell the staff that I'm here? Okay, I promise. Break me and I'll multiply, becoming sharp as a tack. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. Hmm? Uh-oh. What in the world are you doing in here? I... Um... Well, I don't know how you got in here, but this area is off limits. Anyways, come with me. Your mom is here. I wanted to explore... <gasps> Chloe. I already forgot the riddle. <laughs> Mom! Teeth? No. After you worked so hard to get our book back, I think you deserve a good bedtime story. What was the riddle again? It was something like... Break me... Oh, I'm sure it'll come up later. Will you read Wackwin to me, Mom? Of course I will. Hmm. Once upon a time, there lived a boy in a faraway land called Morisota's Forest. Even though he was still quite young, the boy was considered a great warrior by his tribe. One day, the boy returned home from a hunt to find that everyone in his tribe had disappeared. At first, the boy was very afraid, but he soon learned that his tribe had escaped danger by sailing to a world called Rakuen. In order to reach them, the boy decided to seek help from the great guardian of the forest, Morizora, for it has been said that Morizora would grant one wish to anyone who was able to complete his challenges. Thus, the boy set off on a great journey. He fought evil spirits, visited many lands, and befriended even the most severe of creatures. And at long last, Morizoto granted the boy his wish, a ride on his magical boat. Hmm. The boy was now able to sail away, finally reuniting with his tribe and all those he loved in the beautiful world of Rockwell. Good night. Yeah. Uh oh. Is it gonna be that kid again? Mom, is that you? Yummy. Ah. 
Hey. Are you a ghost? Yummy! You came back. I told you I would. So the doctor told me you were wandering around the backspace. That place is like a construction zone right now, man. It seems awfully dangerous to go there just for a book. It's not just a book. It's been in our family for generations. My grandmother used to read it to my mom when she was a kid. Ah, uh, so you got it back for your ma? Yeah, and me too. It's special to both of us. Special to that old homeless guy too. The silver on the side probably sells for a lot. He was hungry. He was probably just trying to make you feel sorry for him so you wouldn't tell on him. He should have felt sorry for you. You're the one stuck in the hospital. He could leave any time. But you, you might never get to leave. That's not very nice. Oh, hey man, I'm sorry for saying that. It's okay. It's true. If it makes you feel better, I'm stuck here too. We can be stuck here together. You're right. Thanks, Yami. Oh, I think that's the night shift nurse. Sorry, man, I should go. Yami? Yeah? I hope you get better. <laughs> Mommy! Where were you? Hi, sweetie. Did you sleep okay? Oh, what's the matter? I wish I could go to Morizora and ask him to grant me a wish, but I know it's not real. I'm just stuck here forever, aren't I? Now, I wasn't going to tell you this until you were older, but... But I think you might finally be grown up enough to know the truth about this book. The truth? Do you know why someone tried to steal our book? Because there's silver on it and people can sell silver for money? No, no. That's not why at all. This book is not just an ordinary book. It's a map to Morizora's forest. A blueprint for what we need to do to meet Morizora himself. But, when the thief took our book, he obviously didn't realize that you need something else in order to get there. A key? This is the Rakuen key. You need it to open the book as well as the doors. The doors? My grandmother told me that when you have both the book and the key, secret doors will start appearing around you. Doors that lead from this world to Morizora's forest. There could be doors in this hospital? I don't know. And we may never know unless we look ourselves. I want you to have this key. It's very special, and now it belongs to you. You received the Silver Raccoon Book Key! Thank you, Mom! But you must promise me that you'll take good care of it. Oh, I promise. I will take such good care of it. Okay then, there's only one thing left to do. Let's go find a door to Morizora's forest! If you want to talk with mom at any time, press Q. Q. Hello, dear. How are you? When I was a little girl, I used to always dream about finding a special door to Morizora's forest. Um, what is this? It looks like someone left you a note. Read it. Oh, okay. Break me and I'll multiply, becoming sharp as attack. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile- A mirror? If 
figured you might need this in writing. There's something crazy where I live. I hid something to help you get there. Reflect on it for a while and maybe you can find it. In the... Yay, I figured it out. What? This was locked. Mom. Mom. <laughs> I'm scared, Mom. Oh. Oh, I'm here again. Bento boxes. Oh, that's that fish. Gross. Various bottled drinks. Mm. Doors locked. Where did I see a mirror in the bathroom, right? Whoa! I don't want to go this way. Here's a mirror. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. It looks like someone has hidden something behind the mirror. Look at what it is, yes. You found Uma's key. Oh. Oh, how nice of my mom to wait outside the bathroom for me. Where does this lead? <gasps> Mom? Where are we? I'm not sure. This is so strange. Mom, the raccoon key. keeper of the key, you can go anywhere. Even to Morizora? To ask him for a wish? If that's where you want to go. Can we go together? Of course. Well, shall we? Okay. Whoosh. in the world Liebel villager how did you get in here we just came in through the door behind us there's no door behind you yes there is I think the tall creatures must have hit their heads in the storm they're talking crazy. I don't know how they got here, but maybe we should help them. I see you must be lost. I've never seen you around Morizora's forest before. Yes, this is our first time here. Oh, so you're tourists then. I guess you could call us that. But we know all about this place. We read about it in our book. A book about us? Yeah, I learned all about the forest and the paradise world across the sea. You mean Rakuen? Yeah. That's wonderful. Is there anything you'd like to do while you're here? Well... 
I've always wanted to meet the great forest guardian, Morizora. Ah, Morizora. He lives in a cave just northwest of this village. But I hear he's been sleeping for a long time, and it's not easy to wake him up. Anyways, this is the Leewell Village Inn. Feel free to make yourselves at home. And let us know if you need anything. What interesting looking creatures. Did you notice when they turned around? They didn't have tails! Hush, it's not nice to talk about others behind their backs. Or about their backs, heh <laughs> Hey! Sorry. I meant no harm. Just never seen anything like it, is all. A vase full of flowers. Hello, dear. How are you? These Leebles have a lovely village. I never thought I'd see the day that I'd be standing here amongst them. Whoop! Oh, I guess it's a curtain. Small, fragrant flower. Pick it. Bigger than your head. Flowers that are also bigger than your head. What's this? Nothing. Healthy houseplant. Not in need of watering this time. So, um, what's it like not having a tail? <laughs> Do you fall over a lot? Hey! Oops, sorry, I mean, how are you? Recently, the river water levels were getting dangerously low. So the great water dragon, Stormy, moved here to fix things. Now we have all the water we could possibly need. So, um... Oh, it's the same thing. Innkeeper's assistant. If you're looking for Morizora, he lives in the big cave northwest of the village. We care a lot about our village. I'm trying to do my part by cleaning up before the big star night celebration. Tea! What's in here? Nothing? Is this a bamboo plant? No. Welcome to the Liebel Inn. Would you like to sleep here? Sleep? <gasps> oh, what did that do? You wake fully rested. Save your game? Yes. File... one. Oh my! Well, well, what do we have here? A couple of fresh faces in Morizora's forest. What are you? What am I? I'm a Liebel, of course. What are you? A great warrior, a dragon, a human. Human? Is that anything like a horse? <laughs> well, all creatures are welcome here in Liebel Village, so feel free to make yourselves at home. Oh. Are you a pink cat? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm a Liebel. Cats walk on all fours and can't talk. What are you? A great warrior. Impressive. Maybe you can help our blacksmith get his tools back. <gasps> tools? He's been hanging out near Morzora's cave ever since an angry spirit stole his tools. These labels. Lovely village. I don't know if you said that. Tony the bear keeps destroying our gardens. He's only got two moods, grumpy and angry. It's in that one mood? Uh, wow, it's so shiny. I got the bug, the travel bug. I can't sit still, I'm so restless. I want to travel the world. 
I know it's a long shot, but I heard Winston used to build boats before he came here. Maybe he'll decide to build them again. Winston, a carpenter Lebel who lives out by the river. He's a nice guy, but he mainly keeps to himself. He's been caring for his sick wife ever since he came to the forest. We don't really know what happened to her. Yeah, so this is... They have the same people here, except slightly different. What's this, a cupcake store? I didn't have lunch. So all of this food looks tasty. Gimme, gimme. Pinky! If you don't mind, I got a lot of food to prepare and not much time to do it. Wow, you two are tall. I guess you're not from around here, are you? If you don't mind, I've got a lot of food to prepare. Okay. Interesting. Is this the blacksmith? Locked. Read it. I'm extremely sorry, but angry, an angry spirit stole my tools, and I'm unable to work until I get them back. Sincerest apologies, the blacksmith. Well, I don't think we have the right tools to remove this bamboo. Damn it, there's a chest over there. Pink cat. A label? Oh, so that's what she was drawing. Cora. Wow, I've never seen you guys before. Are you new here? Normally at this time I'd be selling art supplies, but I'm still cleaning things up after the storm. The storm? There was a storm here? A really big one. Lots of things were destroyed. Bamboo is growing out of the control out of control and blocking paths. It's crazy around here. But the biggest problem right now is that all of the beanstalks connecting the village with the Skylands have been destroyed. The Skylands? Yeah, half our tribe lives up on these islands in the sky. We can't reach them without beanstalks. Normally at this time I'd be- oh. You look a bit worried. I guess I'm just concerned about the other villagers. Everyone here works so hard, and I feel like the storm kind of brought us all down. I wish there was something I could do to help them out, you know? Normally at this time... See you later. Flowers. Artist's menu. Paper lanterns. Reeds. Fireflies. What a strange painting. Can't can't go through their stuff. Okay, well. This game has good music. Can I look in the pot? No. Tony came through here the other day and almost crushed all my crops. <clears throat> the bear has such a bad attitude. Unlike other Liebels, I'm not afraid of the envoy at all. But I still wouldn't go into Morazora's cave by myself. That's not a cat. <laughs> I can't go. Get out of the way, cat. I want to talk to. Is it Danielle? I go up or down? Berry bush! You look suspicious. <gasps> I actually got berries out of it. Well... What's down here? 
can't make up my mind where to go. Stacy, we're Chef Panky's kitchen assistants. It's a great job, but he works us to the bone. We just snuck out here for a quick break. Please don't tell him. Chef Pengy's freaking out because Star Knight is coming up and he has to make tons of food. But it always works out, so I don't know what he's so worried about. Sometimes people just worry. I know I do. Strawberry. Hey, you guys are new. Are you visitors or are you going to live in the forest with us? Star Knight is coming up soon. The food there is so good. Just... Gimme, 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 gimme. You found 10G. Okay. Bush. I can't decide where to go. There's <gasps> a fat one. Hello? Buff kiss. Hey, you aren't trying to take the Sela berries off that bush, are you? Cause they're mine! Oh yeah? Watch me. Oh, who's taking my berries? Oh, run, run away! Come here. Star Knight is just around the corner. When I go this time, I'm gonna catch myself a pet fish and eat sweets. Sound like a cool festival. Morazor's forest has lots of different kinds of spirits wandering around. Some of them are nice, but you still have to watch out for the angry ones. Sleeping in the way. Oh no. I don't think we have the right tools to remove these rocks. This place is amazing. We share this forest with the envoy. Winston told me that you can tell when Envoy Spirits pass through because it gets really cold. Have you been to the Midnight Tea Shop? They have wonderful tea. A nice Hangyojin couple west of the Water Palace runs it. Hangyojin? The storm knocked over all of our emerald beanstalks. That means travel between here and the Skylands is on hold until we can grow some new ones. Half the village lives up on those big islands up there in the sky. You should check it out sometime. Well, once the sapling grows up. If only there were a way to speed up the process. Like, what if there were another world, an alternate universe if you will. Where altering things there would alter things here, but in completely unpredictable ways. I have a lot of time to think, okay? <laughs> hmm. What's this? Morazor's cave, enter at your own risk. <gasps> but first, berries. I don't know what that does. Hi, Mom! I have 15 berries. Hello, dear. How are you? Yes, you said that. Okay, well, I guess I'll go up here. Ah! Hey, kid. Wait up. I hope you know, those caves you're about to go into are a tad confusing. If you're not careful, you could end up getting lost. Oh, I'm sure I will. You'd better take this. You received Marzora's cave map. Good luck, kid. Thank you, Uma. What is that thing? Cave bud. Whoa, are you really going in there? 
That place is weird. I guess I can only go up. I'm stuck. Eh. Eh. Oh boy. Wait! Blacksmith Jackie. What are you two doing in here? I'm sorry, is this area off limits? We were just looking for Morizora. Did we get th in the wrong cave? No, this is Morizora's cave. But you know it isn't safe right now, don't you? The envoy are here. The envoy? You know, spirits that are between this realm and another. Most of them are harmless, they're just hanging around or passing through. But lately, many of them have become corrupted with bad energy. They're so blinded by things like fear and hatred that they aren't themselves anymore. I was in here collecting supplies last week and a bunch of them stole my tools. I haven't been able to work at all since then. I'm so sorry to hear that. And at least I made it out alive. But what if we were just really careful? Are you crazy? Didn't you hear what I just said? Yeah, but I really need to talk to Morizora. Plus, we're a lot bigger than you are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! I was so caught up in thought I didn't even realize you were like 10 feet tall. <laughs> we're not 10 feet tall. Close enough. What the heck are you, anyway? We're humans. Interesting. Okay, well, best of luck to you. One problem, though. I know you're trying to reach Morizora, but as you can see, the entrance to his grove has been blocked off by overgrown bamboo. I can cut that down if you get my tools back. The spirits put them in that box over there. Everything I need to do my job is in that box, including my axe. We'll do whatever it takes to help you out. You can start by draining this lake. There are two switches in this cave that control the flow of water. Find them both and we're good to go. Pretty straightforward, right? I guess. That's the spirit. Er, no pun intended. I'll wait here for your return. Good luck. Hmm. What is this thing? Excuse me, do you mind moving so that we could get through here? Root shoot. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm too tired to move. Too tired. Aw, why are you so tired? Well, usually I love swimming through the dirt. I go on random errands for the tree I belong to. But my tree is malnourished, which means I'm malnourished too. So unfortunately I can't move right now. Maybe if my tree gets what it needs, I'll be able to move again. But until then, I'm too tired. Hmm, your tree, eh? Ugh. All these mushrooms and things growing on the walls. What's this? Eastern water flow switch entrance above. Hmm, if only the purple creature weren't blocking the entrance. Gollum child, if Big Brother forgets to eat, he gets so tired that he just sits around waiting for someone else to feed him. I'm not gonna be like that when I grow up. I'm going to be a golem on the move. So I have to feed him. Lethargio golem. Mmm. <laughs> What's the matter? I'm so hungry. Me too, buddy. So hungry that I can't move. Well, that's a problem. Poor thing. I'm sure we have some extra food that we could give you. No, I can't eat horse food. Horse food? I need Sila apples only from Sila Cave Tree. 
Mm. Okay. What about berries? I've got berries. Do you think I'm beautiful? I heard that if you have happy feet, you become more beautiful. Is this true? Hmm, I don't think I've heard that saying before. Oh, it must be a tree thing then. I think you have very beautiful green leaves. Thank you. You see, I have three feet. They're probably popping up around here somewhere. But they are so sad right now. How can I be beautiful if my feet are so sad? One is hungry for dirt, one is thirsty for water, and one really needs some sunlight. Can you please help them? Uh huh. What's here? This goes outside? Uh. It's locked. kidding about this place being confusing. <gasps> Down. What if I did This is not going to work. I'm just guessing. Yeah. Aha! Mini Mori 4. 5. 1. 6. I'm gonna need to write this down. Paper and pen time! Old school. So is one, is on the right. This is eight. This was six. Three. Today is my birthday. Seven. I hope, uh, the right idea here. Two. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. in there. You found the blue stone key. 
don't even know what that goes to yet. check real quick. Why, yes, we do have an extra bottle of water here. Would you like it? Oh, that's kind of you, but when I say water, I mean like a lot of water. Like a pond's worth. I drink a lot. Hmm, I don't think we could carry that much water. I understand. If you happen to come across any, though, we'll let you know. Well, interesting. Aha! Well, what do I do with this rock? Oh, there's a switch. Haha. <laughs> yeah! Look at him, he's so happy! This is great! I can feel the water flowing up through the ground and into my toes. Did you guys do this? All we did was pull a switch. You gave me water. Water! I can finally be me again. Thank you so much. This is great. Oh, he's saying the same thing. Doopy doopy doo doo. Oh, look at the trees growing a little bit. You already helped one of my feet. Thank you. There are just two more that need something now. <gasps> Sun. Oh, well. stair connects but it goes down oh sue have you ever lost something that was really important to you was supposed to meet my friend, but I can't remember where we were going to meet. I have to find her before it's too late. I have to. I have this really catchy song stuck in my head. It's by this budding indie rap artist named Little Buds. He's a sky bud, so he looks like me, but he lives up in the sky. It's so good. What's the song about? Oh, it's so deep. It's about having to work every day serving tea to rich buzz. Having a high-strung boss who wears powdered white wigs, wanting to make it as a hip-hop artist. It really speaks to me. What are you? Oh, I'm a cave butt. Not quite fully grown yet, but I'm getting there. What are you? Glow shroom. I'm supposed to glow big and bright. But lately I've been having trouble holding my charges. It's probably all that stress from work. I just gotta take it easy. Make sure to exercise. You know how it is. Exercise? What's that? Well, can't go this way. Mom! What are those? 
Mm, I'm not sure, dear. I wonder if they're the envoy that Jackie talked about. Uh oh. Ah! Stay close to me, dear. It's alright, dear. I think they're gone now. Phew. I'm scared. What's this? Nothing. Uh. Mom, there's so many of them. I'm kind of scared. It's okay, sweetie. Hold my hand and stay close to me. I'll lead us through here. Ah! You can do it, sweetie. Mom, we made it. I knew you could do it. Friendly foot. The dark makes me sad. Gimme. You found Tenji. It's so dark in here. I don't like the dark one bit. Neither do I. Mom says there's nothing to be afraid of, but I still don't like it. Finally, someone who understands me. These mushrooms don't get it at all. They're like, sunlight? Who needs that? Only crazy feet like the sun. Well, call me crazy, but I do like the sun. Unfortunately, I took a wrong turn and wound up in the very darkest part of this cave. Can you help me get some sun? Shimiji. I don't know what that foot is talking about. The dark is great. Sunflower! Yeah! Break that floor! Kid, did you come to listen to our guild practice? Oh, you haven't heard of us? We meet here every week to jam. We call ourselves No Holds Part. <laughs> With exactly three exclamation points at the end. Heck yeah! Oh, it's little buds. Get it? Because we don't hold back. We don't follow the rules. We spell it B-A-R-D, not B-A-R-R-E-D. Because we're literally bards. <laughs> it's a play on words. Yeah, I got it! Ah, that's clever. Lady, I like your style. So like, down here we can be ourselves. Take Krieg, for example. Yo. Out in the real world, he's got to wear a suit and tie and work for the man. But down here, he shreds on the electric loot. <laughs> and then there's little buds. Sup, homies? He spends his days serving tea to a bunch of snobby buds in the sky. I'm all like, more sugar, sir? Can I offer you a scone? Only suckers eat scones. Ooh, Whoa there, buds. Sorry, sometimes I just gotta let it out. We all do, little buds, we all do. Channel it into the music. I hear ya, flower. So like I was saying, down here we can be ourselves and just jam. So if you need a space to just chill out, feel free to kick it with us. No holds barred! <laughs> that was cute. So now is there sunlight in this? Yeah, happy foot. 
Blah, how can you stand all this light? Light makes me grow. Doesn't it make you grow? No, of course not. If not light, then what do you eat? Dead plants, of course. Ah! <sighs> Are you the one that punched those holes in the ceiling? Did you bring me the sunlight? I'm not sure. Maybe? It might have been an accident, though. The best accident ever. I'm the happiest foot in the forest. Whoa, is it just me, or did it get really bright all of a sudden? If it stays like this, I'm gonna go hang out in the dark with the other mushrooms. Eek, I'm sorry. Oh, it's no biggie. I have legs and can get up and move no problem. This guy over here, though, he kind of needs the sun, so I guess it's okay if this one room is so bright. I love the light. Pfft, plants. <laughs> okay. Such good music. Oh no. Did I scare away all the monsters? The light. This looks like it should be a door. Are you glowing yet? Hmm, how long did I glow that time? Two seconds? Five seconds? Glow shroom. It's supposed to glow. Big and bright. Did I talk to her? Have you ever had a best friend? My best friend and I would go everywhere together. We had the best adventures. Both of us were kind of poor. It was sad because sometimes she didn't even have any food. But I always shared my lunch with her because that's what best friends do. I've been searching for my friend for so long, I can't even remember where we used to meet. I have to find her. two of my feet. Thank you. There's just one more that needs something now. switch entrance above. Are you trying to get to the western water flow switch? Oh yes we are. Well you're gonna have to find a way to move those rocks first. Do you have a pet pig by chance? A pet pig? Haha <laughs> goodness no. That's too bad. Pigs love rocks. A pig would clear those rocks out in five seconds flat. Interesting. Thank you for the information. I've never seen you guys before. You don't look like Liebels, and you certainly don't look like you're from the Envoy, so you must be new. Do you have any questions? Do you live here? Yeah, I actually live right through that door up there. Unfortunately, some golems were roughhousing right above my front door. Now there's a pile of rocks blocking my entrance. That's terrible. Ah, uh, it's no biggie. There's a pig living around here somewhere. He only eats mushrooms and rocks. 
I'm sure he'll clear this out once he comes around. Do you have any questions, the envoy? The envoy are between this realm and another. Most of them are harmless, just spirits passing through. Yeah, I've heard this. It's those that you have to watch out for. Yes, kitty. Hello. Do you want to come up? You want to come up and say hi? Up. Come here. Well, fine. There you are. Just a tail. Come here. Yeah. You a good girl? You're gonna get hair all over me, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're such a baby. You're such a big baby. Okay, you're distracting me. Oh no, now the other cat's coming. What do you want? You just want pets? You just want pets, huh? That's my water. Lay down. Lay down, silly. Up here, yeah. You're such a sweetie. Along with the mushroom flowers and mini mories, we help keep the forest run. What other cat looking outside in the cat tree? Oh, she went in the window. Are you gonna s just stand there, huh? Do you have any questions? So I haven't been down. Did you step on my pen? Oh, mom, look, it's a little onion. Are you calling me a little onion? Oh, I'm sorry. You're much bigger than any other onion I've seen. Your face is going to be an onion if you don't stay out of my way. Oh boy. Oh look, it's the kid who thinks I'm little. Well, let me ask you something, kid. See these fists? Are these little? Um, well... You think my fists are little? Well, uh, what kind of fists do you have? Dumb, stupid fists. <laughs> Silly onion. I don't have a key for this yet, do I? Or is it the same as the other one? <gasps> it is. I'm getting all turned around. The bigger golems are always rough housing. I'm not ready for that yet, so I just hang out with these cats. <laughs> Me too. And they all left me. The bigger go- uh, yes, okay. Kitty? What's this? Is it a piggy? Pig! Wah wah wah! Wait, that's not the sound a pig makes. You come to feed me rocks or truffalos? Huh? No? Then I stay here. Wah wah wah. Um. Does this fire have a face? I'm just seeing things. So 
so I have to find some truffles. stepped on a rad shroom. A rad shroom? Oh no. I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to. Hmm. Come here, little dude. I squished it. Am I in trouble? Nah, we're cool. I can tell you're a good little dude. I'm King Spore, and these are my totally radical Shimeji guards. Together, we make up the Rad Shroom Preservation Society, or RPS for short. All around Morzora's cave, there's a great battle going on. A war between good and evil, a struggle between rad and bad. This place is a literal war zone. <gasps> yes, yes. You should be surprised. Shocked. Surprised. For ages, the rad shrooms and bad shrooms have been at war. Rad shrooms, like the poor little dude you just stepped on, Sorry. They fill the air with righteous spores that make you peaceful, kind, and full of rad. Rad shroom spores in the air mean we all get along better. Bad shrooms, on the other hand... Uh-oh. No! Bad shrooms are totally uncool. When you breathe in their spores, you become rude. Gnarly. Stuck up. So, little dude, whilst on your totally righteous journey, the RPS asks that you help stomp out the bad, while totally protecting the rad. I'll try my best. Awesome. Hey, little dude, is that like your mom? Yes. Moms are totally cool. <laughs> so I step on him? Squish. Squish. Hello. Walshroom, nice view of the water from here. Some crazy dude with a big mustache and overalls came on in here the other day and tried to eat me. <laughs> Mario! He thought it would give him an extra life. I had to tell him, look man, I'm not that kind of mushroom. The only thing you'll get if you try to eat me is a really bad stomach ache. <laughs> so I don't have the key for this one. Ooh. Oh my. Watch your step, friend. Oh god! Well, he warned me. Oh no! Be away. Mm. 
Mini Mori 14. Did you know there's a treasure in the room below me? Pity it's behind a locked door. I wonder what's inside. Uh You found the redstone key. Good thing it's not locked from the inside. So that was... Was there somewhere else up over here? I don't know what's this way. Is that a bad shroom? Squish. Oh, woe is me. Hunger consumes me. My stomach's so empty it aches. How I long for that nectar of the forest, that life-giving ambrosia. That which pleaseth my stomach. Delicious, delectable, divine dirt. was this way? This was... it goes back to somewhere we've been. What do you want, kitty? You sound so sad. <gasps> squish. 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 Oh! Whoa, something feels different. I suddenly feel happy. Thanks for clearing the air in here. No problem. I got an achievement! Clearing the air. Wow, this is such a nice cave. The sound of the underground river near here, the cool feel of the rocks beneath my stalks. And wow, I really like your hat. Thanks, dude. I couldn't go left because... I just didn't. Columns are right for us housing. <laughs> the only good thing about them is they smell like grapes. Oh my. Those rocks are weird. Why are they weird? Well... One time I saw a mushroom jump from rock to rock to get to the other side, and as he jumped, the rocks turned blue. What's up with that? Weird, right? Do I have to light them all? Door's locked. over here. <gasps> Cake. Oh, the switch. It looks like tea and stuff. I didn't go in the red door yet, did I? You found some pig repellent. Hmm, I wonder who in this cave would want something like pig repellent. Squish. You found 10G. Can I go down? It 
stop it. Aha, there it is. How radical am I? Hmm, I'm totally gonna have to check with my sources and like, get back to you, man. Thanks for helping out, man. Hello, kitten. Oops. I wasn't paying attention where I was. Squish and squish and go up stairs. Squish. Squish. I know this is hard to believe, but did you know that there's a pig living inside this cave? It's kind of insane. Lucky for us, they only eat rocks and truffaloes, not cave boats. Just between you and me, not that I'd ever wish being eaten by a pig on anyone, but if the pig had to eat someone in this cave and I had to choose who it was, well, I'd just be honest with you, I'd choose the truffaloes. <laughs> From time to time, the envoy comes through here. They're so mysterious, but sometimes it can be scary. If they're overrun with bad energy, you never know what they'll do. It's best to keep your distance when that happens. Don't step on it. Don't step on it. Gimme. The fine porcelain cup is filled with muddy water. All of these sandwiches are filled with dirt. Ooh, don't step on it. The fine porcelain cup with muddy water. Oh. Truffalo! That dreadful pig that lives down here only eats two things. Rocks and us. Ugh, so barbaric. That dreadful pig, yeah, yeah. We have the most delicious dirt in all the forest. And that's how it should be. We are the best mushrooms, so we should get the best dirt. Ha! If you've come here to ask for our dirt, we're not just gonna give it to you if you don't give us something in return. Wait. Is that pig repellent you're carrying? We need that. We'll give you a bag of our best dirt if you give us that pig repellent. I'll even throw in some truffalo perfume. It's so refined. This perfume would make even a lowly cave bud smell as good as us. Ha ha. Oh. But stay away from pigs while you're wearing it, otherwise they might follow you around. Disgusting. Barbaric. Uncouth. Give the truffle your pig repellent? Yes. Tasty dirt and truffle perfume. Delightful. Now that uncouth pig will finally give us some peace and quiet. Oh. Hello. So you want to go through this cave, eh? Yes, of course. Okay, I guess since you want to go so badly, I'll cave in and go with you. <laughs> Get it? Because we're in a cave and people cave in when they're giving in? Oh ho ho! Yeah, mom. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I guess I gotta go up and- Oh 
wait. Exercising, gotta tone up these petals. Wait, where wasn't there a pig? on the rock. Path is blocked by sharp rocks. Did I do it? The path. Um, I guess I just wore it on myself. should be? Or is it above somewhere? Oh boy. I don't remember. smell like truffalo. I follow you. He doesn't look like a pig. Yum, now truffalo for dessert. Uh oh. Thank you. Now I can finally get into my home. Too bad for the truffalos. I wish I smelled like grapes. <laughs> I guess that pig finally ate the rocks blocking our door. Someone needs to tell those golems to go roughhouse somewhere else. Western water flow switch. the dirt was he gosh I don't I don't know
Probably over here? Truffle is dead. Oh no! <laughs> I stepped on it. Oh no. I've been here. I don't know where the guy wanted dirt. I forget. here. nose deceive me? That divine fragrance, may it be thou carriest the tastiest and most coveted dirt in all the forest? Give the friendly foot your tasty dirt? Yes. O oh, wonder of wonders, I thank thee for thine gift. Fare thee well, my friends. Yay! Now what's the quickest way out of here? achievement. Oh wow, I'm so beautiful. My feet tell me that you helped all of them. Because you gave them sun, water, and dirt, I was able to grow up into a full tree. Thank you for your help. We all feel much better now. Here, to say thank you, I want you to have one of my fruit. Yay. what I need for this dude.
I smell Sila apple or Sila apple. Give Lethargio Lethargio Golem a Sila apple, yes. Oh boy! I feel so different now. It's like I have so much more energy. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm probably the brightest glow shroom in here. We're talking 1000 watts, 90 second intervals, and I can bench like five times my own weight. I also make my own dead plant shakes. They help me put on the pounds. The lake has been drained. Great job! We did it! Blacksmith tools get Oh my wonderful tools you give the blacksmith back his tools. Thank you so much. Now as promised, I'll clear you a path to Morizora's Grove. There you go. Well, I'd better get back to my shop. Thanks for everything. Oh, one more thing. If you visit my shop, I can build you some tools of your own. It's gonna take me a little time to get everything up and running again. So why don't you come by once you're done talking to Morizora? Hopefully I'll be ready by then. Good luck! I'm gonna save... recommend against going down this path for the time being. There are far too many envoy beyond this point. Okay. Looks like we have visitors. Hmm. I do not recognize their kind at all. I don't think they're from Morzora's fro forest. Hmm. Definitely not from around here. Definitely not. It's been many years since we've had visitors such as these. Ooh, more is ours helper. Tell me, young boy, what brings you to the Keeper's Grove? I want to ask Morizora if he would grant me a wish. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm sorry, but Morizora has been sleeping for a while now. Oh. Do you know when he's going to wake up? My boy, this is not an ordinary slumber. A darkness has fallen over Morizora's lands, and over him as well. A darkness? You see, we have long shared this world with the Envoy. They are spirits between this realm and the next. Typically peaceful, merely passing through. However, 
Lately, more and more of them have become overrun with negative energy. Anger, fear, hatred. The whole forest can feel it. If Morzora sleeps and darkness subsumes this lands, we are all in danger. This is terrible. We have to do something. Let me try to wake him up for you. Haha, <laughs> my boy. Morizora cannot be awoken by just any means. When darkness has caused him to fall into slumber, the only thing that can awaken him is a very special song. A song that we call Mori no Kokoro. Can you teach it to me? No, my child, I cannot. But that's not to say that you can't learn it. When you can hear things that are too quiet for the ears, the fear and longing, the hopes and dreams of those around you, then you can wake him. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. Look around us. Do you see the stones with different markings? Yes. Each one represents a voice that is calling out for your help right now. A man whose connection with his wife has been severed. A woman who prepares to lose that which is the most dear to her. Seek them out along with the rest who call out to you. If you help them, they will teach you what you seek to learn. See that one over there? Yes? Shh, listen. My wife's been asleep for months now. Something tells me that's a good place to start. Good luck, young one. Return to us if you need any help. My wife's been asleep for months now. Yes? It figures when I want visitors, no one shows up. It's Tony, Winston. Kisaburo. Just want to make sure I say the things I need to say before it's too late. Sue, I miss my friend so much. If she was here, we'd go up there together. What? Is that like us? Still too dangerous here, bud? Yeah. Well, I think I'm gonna stop once I get back to town because I'm starving. Oh, don't forget to come by my shop, I'll make you an axe. Yeah, we need one to chop down all the bamboo. What is that? Pea dog? What are you looking at? It's cabbage, okay? You look like you've never seen someone eat cabbage. It's cabbage, okay? Cabbage. Cabbage. Sweet, sweet cabbage. Okay. Is that all you have to say to me? Okay. I'm gonna save. And uh, Eric's gonna be home soon, so I'm gonna end it here and maybe stream later tonight um, and then I'll let you know. Thanks for watching 
and I will see you next time. No problem, it was fun. I like this game so far. Bye-bye.